Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've been posting a couple of videos over the last while regarding Microsoft's new cloud PC. And last month, Microsoft officially announced Windows 365, which it is now called, which is a cloud PC service for commercial customers. And Microsoft yesterday, the 2nd of August 2021, now has announced the general availability of Windows 365. Now, Windows 365 is a cloud-based service that lets you securely stream uh, Windows 10 or 11 to your personal or corporate devices. And this is regardless of the operating system that you're using. So you don't have to be using Windows 10 or 11 to use uh, Windows 365. You can use any OS and also you can use any web browser. And you don't have to be on new hardware. You can use older hardware as well because most of the uh, processing is taking place from the Windows server side. Now, if we just go over to that announcement, announcing the general availability of Windows 365, as I say, that was yesterday, the 2nd of August, 2021. And I'm just going to tell you here what Cloud PC is all about. I'm going to read this quickly. The Cloud PC draws on the power of the cloud to provide a powerful, simple and secure full Windows 10 or Windows 11 experience that you can use to empower your workforce regardless of location or device. Windows 365 provides an instant on-boot experience that enables users to stream all their personalized applications, tools, data, and settings from the cloud across any device, including your Windows, Mac, iPad, Android, and coming soon to Linux devices as well. The Windows experience is consistent no matter the device. You can pick up right where you left off because the state of your cloud PC remains the same even when you switch devices. And I have covered a bit of this uh, in previous videos. And then you get two versions you get for organizations with up to 300 employees. That's Windows 365 Business. And then for organizations with more than 300 employees, and that's Windows 365 Enterprise. And then if we just click on the Windows 365 link, welcome to your Windows 365 Cloud PC. This is obviously where you can sign up and um, if you're interested and you get business and enterprise. Now there's too much to go through here in uh, one video and I will leave a link down below to both of these web pages if you're interested. And here's the Cloud PC image, the graphic that I've also posted in some previous videos. And if we go right down to the bottom, you will see a, a business for small and medium businesses and for enterprise customers. And if we compare plans, this will take us over to the pricing available. And you get three plans in the business, uh, Windows 365 business, basic, standard, and premium. And this is obviously the currency in my part of the world for the three options. Obviously, if you do a search for this in your region of the world, it'll come up in your own currency. Now, I've done my math quickly. And in dollars, US dollars, uh, it goes uh, for the business, uh, Windows 365 business, it goes from around about $45 to $89. And then if you go to the enterprise, Windows 365 enterprise, which takes us to the options there, you also get basic standard and premium. And I, once again, I did my math here as well. And uh, in US dollars, that is approximately $40, which ranges to $84 on the premium side. And that's obviously, as of today's currency, the 3rd of August, 2021. And then for each plan on the business and enterprise editions, it gives you all your, uh, uh, your, you know, your, your specs, and then what you actually get in for each plan. But as I mentioned, I will leave this down below so you can go check this out for yourself if you are interested. So just wanted to let you know, um, Microsoft has officially announced yesterday on the 2nd of August 2021 the general availability of Windows 365 or as it was known before Windows Cloud PC. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.